Hi and welcome to the Real Magic Review vlog which at the moment is really about me going through my books and sharing the ones that I think have had a big impact on me and probably will on you if you read them. Um, before we go on, very quickly, a quick sort of plug. Uh, if you could like and subscribe to this, that would be great. At the moment what I'm finding is uh, people want to send me stuff to review and people are sending me a little bit to review but obviously my numbers aren't up there at this current moment with the, the big hitters that have been going for years because this is a fairly new project. So those views and comments and all that really, really do make a huge difference. So go for it. Um, I'm going to talk about this book uh, today because this, the, the magic of Michael Amar, this, and I was going to go through the whole shelf and talk about every book, but I think I'm just, at the moment, I'm going to pick up the ones that, I, a, that I've read, because that helps, uh, but also the, the ones that have had a really big and, and impact on me. And this was one of the first books that I would say I learned I kind of learned stuff out of and took straight out into work. When I was becoming a magician, um, I was recommended this book. And don't get me wrong, I mean, a lot of the card books I had, and this is before Card College I got this, and that was a big one for me. But uh, this is really, the. there's two things in this that I took out to wear that I still do today that are still probably the most requested tricks that I get. One of them being the crazy man's handcuffs, uh, the elastic band trick if you're new to magic, and one of them being the bill switch. Uh, the thumb to bill switch. So this, this really is, I mean, looking through it, I just had another look through it and I haven't looked at this for a few years. I can't, you know when you sort of get really into a book and then you sort of pile on loads more books and you forget how good the old stuff is and that, I suppose that's kind of why I'm doing this the whole review show and, and vlog really, uh, is to kind of rediscover and discover. Um, I, I, look, I mean, this, this is so good. I, I think probably the best magic book I've got. Now, I said that about card, but I said that about everything, but I say that about, um, I'm a very positive person. Uh, card Magic Course is definitely the best card book. Um, card Magic Course, no, God, I'm not purposely sort of subliminally plugging my own thing there. No, Card College. Um, is, card College is, is my, my favourite card book, w without a doubt, but the this is an all-round magic book. Really, if you're thinking of becoming a professional magician or just a, an all-round magician, uh, and it's got some great card stuff in there. This is so well written and so well illustrated um, by Hannah Amar. And first of all, it's got the cups and balls routine in it with the Vernon one spin, right? So if you want to do the cups and balls, I've made a living from the cups and balls, which I originally learned from, from the Di Vernon routine and a lot from Pete Wardell um, when I was a street performer. And still it's the, it's the finale of my show and has been for years and years and years now. And, and it's such a great lesson in misdirection. And... And basically learning what you can get away with, especially if you start adding the, the melon load and things like that. And I, I think that it's a good what you know, that first time you you put those those final loads in, you're convinced you're not going to get away with it. And then when you do again and again and again, and then sometimes even if you do it quite badly, you get away with it. It's a re it's a really puts you at ease w with other misdirections. So I'd say if you're a card magician, a coin magician, even mentally, you know, go back, learn the cups and balls for yourself and just understand the rhythms of... of of that, I said even a mentalist, probably not actually. I don't know why you want to learn the cups and balls if you're a mentalist, but um, but maybe. So uh, this whole cups and balls routine is got is is something you can take straight out and perform. And that Vernon one spin, man, that's just beautiful. If you ever see Amar do that with like a whole fruit uh, on his cups and balls DVD, and he's also got the cups and balls book, um, watch that. Um, and he's got some great card stuff in there. Um, the cigarette stuff, which we can't do, unfortunately, that much. A bit of a word about cigarette. Everybody says you can't do cigarette magic, right? You can never do cigarette because nobody smokes anymore. A, people do smoke, right? And you'll find that in corporate events, people will have cigarettes, and it's really cool to get one of the cigarettes and do a trick with it. I wouldn't light it indoors, but it's not... I don't think it's this taboo that everybody thinks. And also, if you, if you want to do cigarette magic on stage, I still think it, it's, it's a doable thing. I think, you know, people know what a cigarette is. The fact that you're making it vanish and reproduce it can still look quite cool. You know, I'm not saying you're smoking it, you know, you know, you know maybe if you're going down the kind of Tom Mullica route of putting loads of fags in your mouth, it probably doesn't look that great. But, but I think we're, 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 there's been a bit of a backlash about it. I think you can still learn cigarette magic. I think it's fine. But uh, he's got this... This glass vanish in it, which is very simple, but really, really cool. But the, the crazy man's handcuffs is, I think, 
just something you, you have to learn as a magician. I think it's such another lesson in, in misdirection, in misdirection and that they're looking straight at those elastic bands. Um, it's, a, it's a great trick in the way that, you know, people, even when I've done the bottle free table, even when I've done the colors, all that stuff, people still have a fascination with this trick. There's something about the trick and I don't really know what it is. It might be because it uses elastic bands, it uses a normal thing, but I think it's because it, it happens right in front of their eyes. You know, when you take that elastic band up in front of their eyes like that and do it and they hold it and it happens there, it just, it absolutely floors people. Um, except for the weirdly, the odd time, maybe what one in 100, someone will say, I don't get what happened there and they won't understand it, which is very odd, but, but there's that. Anyway, um, he's got this coin and bottle in there, silk to egg. I mean, this is all stuff you can take on stage and get 10 minutes of material out, um, out of. And the, definitely the, the bill switch. I mean, the classic bill switch did, and it's not just the fact that it's in here, the fact that it's written up so well. And that's the thing, these are all written up really well and it gives you the psychology of why this works. And I think that that is something I still find lacking. I mean, one of the books I'm not gonna mention it, I'm working through now is a brilliant magic book, but man, it's written so badly, you know? Some of the, and it's not a new book. So uh, it's a card book and it's got some great stuff in it, but it's, A, it's quite dr really dry, but also the, the you know, there's a lot of sort of stuff that, you, that is written, that it's too ambiguous to know exactly what you're gonna do, but this is, is just brilliant. Um, and then he's got this sort of other magicians here. He's got stuff from Lou Gallo, Coin Magic, and and David Williamson. But you know, I I, I think that out of, out of all of these books, if you if you were to get one magic book, and that you know, maybe not if you're a total beginner, but if you if you've been doing it a while, just the My Clamar book of magic from Alan L. It's just it's just great. So uh, there you go. So that's a bit of a vlog, a um, bit of a ramble about that book. Uh, like I say, like and subscribe, go and check out Car Magic Course, my online Car Magic Course. That'd be lovely and have a great one. Cheers.